today I brought some examples of preserved plants and I thought I'd show you how to preserve some of your own. Now there's different different uses for pressed plants and preserved plants like here's a uh, a good example of poison ivy which I show when I go places so that kids learn the difference between poison ivy and Virginia creeper and today we're going to press some Virginia creeper so I can show a comparison. Notice it has five leaves not three. So all you really need to press plants is paper to absorb the nutrient, the water, and pressure to keep it flat. So you could use, if you want to, just a dictionary. Just put the plant right in there and press it. You want the pages to be bigger than the plant. So this is not what we're going to press the Virginia creeper in. I took some pegboard because it has holes, which allows for ventilation because you need to have good ventilation for the plant to dry. And I got some Velcro straps to add the pressure and keep it together. But basically all you need, you can use blotter paper or drying paper, which you can buy for this purpose. Or if you want to, you can even use newspaper. And you just layer some, some stuff to dry with, whether it's newspaper or blotting paper. And every once in a while you stick in some corrugated cardboard. So that way the air can flow as close as possible to the plants while the plants are being pressed to dry. So I'm going to put the Virginia creeper in here. And you just want to kind of arrange it so that when it lays flat, it won't be just a, a mess. And sometimes you got to pull some off. You just kind of spread it out so they all have their own space. Just kind of lay it on there making sure it's flat well, you got it on there like you like it then you can put everything back together and you can velcro it shut now if it's something that's really moist you might have to undo this every day or two and take out like the soggy newspaper or if the blotting paper gets soggy just take that out and put it between some fresh sheets and you don't have to do big things, you can do little things too. And you don't have to spend a lot of money trying to find Velcro straps. You can use, if it's a small press, you can use a rubber band. You can use a hair tie. You don't have to use anything big and fancy. This is just a little like five by seven. And if you want to, when you press something, you can write down what it is and date it, but it doesn't have to be expensive. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.